placing everybody in the city up and ain't leasing me and Cooley up. Me and Cooley putting the work in, going ham out here. She ain't showing us no love. Damn. That's, that's why that's the best thing because you, you can be yourself all the time. Hell you ain't got to be in no case. That's why the character's so good at you because right, right. that's already in your heart. Hell yeah. So that's Hell just where yeah. you ain't gonna never fuck up. Same so y'all hit 88.1, that's him right there, y'all. Yes, sir. Are oh, y'all filming? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's my man Ant, aka Ant Live. That's what I'm calling him for real. That's it. That's Shamrock Live is his show. Y'all gotta tune in. Y'all gotta show my man Mad Love on 88.1 FM. If you in the West Philly area, he got the whole West Philly on lock. I'm talking some real shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's to be really real, man. So you know I'm gonna keep that shit real, man. That's in our live, man. You already know, man. Nigga Shamrock Live be fucking shit up for me. <laughs> Bill collectors. We got in the building today. We got. Don't know, right? We got this girl, man. This girl, this right? This woman. Here. This woman. Excuse me. This lady, black lady, woman, strong figure. That's right. I'm correct. You know. <laughs> She's got a clothing line. She's in everything. I don't know. She's helping everybody do everything. Executing. I mean, executing. And the name of her clothing line is Eminent Virtue. And I want her to come tell us more about this. This is Miss Kelly. Kelly, <laughs> a.k.a. Yeah. No Limit to Modest. Yeah. No yeah. Limit to Modest, you, you know? know? Man, <laughs> so, Kels, man. Tell us, man, what the heck made you go and do that? Uh, first of all, I like this light bulb something. I don't know how you got it. I don't know what made you do this, but the light bulb is like, everybody get that when they get a good idea. Right. You know what I mean? It's like an idea. Ooh, right, right, bing, right. light bulb. Bing. So this was a good market. How did you come up with that, Johnny? Well, like you said, I'm in this and in that. Mm. You know, and... Yeah. um. Yeah. I feel that sometimes I think so grand, you know, so I said, you know what? And I like to include people mm -hmm. into my endeavors. So I said, you know, everybody has a gift. Everybody has a form of skill. Mm -hmm. So when you are a specialist in what you do and this person over here is a specialist in what they do, and let's say things like, you know, a contractor, mm -hmm. you know, in order to build a house, you have to have a contractor, all kinds of contractors. So you have to have a plumber, you have the electrician, plumber, framework, framework, you know, someone does a sheet guy, rock, concrete, guy, you know yeah. what I mean? And so everybody HVAC specializes guy, yeah. in their thing. Right, you know, you have right. the cosmetics part, the painting, you know, mm -hmm. all that stuff is different. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people get stuck on trying to do everything, mm -hmm. right, Kelly? <laughs> so I said, you know what, let me um, create and be the, that uh, ambassador Mm -hmm. for that thing, you know what I mean? It's like a leading thing. Eminent is a leading company. It's like a, 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 you know, it's like a brand that wants to highlight all niches, all gifts, skills, and things like that, because collectively we illuminate. So- Okay, elaborate on that. She, she done got deep on this. Now. Yeah. It's a collectively we illuminate. We illuminate. Holy shit, we got one of these motherfucking intellectual niggas in here tonight, man. Now, tell me what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Put it on me, homie. Seriously. She didn't here. We done ran up on a hard tub in one of these motherfuckers. Go ahead, tell us. Listen, listen, listen. Uh. I, I like to study things. I like to, you know, understand what I'm doing and what I'm getting involved in, you know. And I, like I said, when you specialize in what you do and what you're good at, you know, and you stick to that thing, you allow another person to also do the same thing and specialize in what they do. So when I say collectively... Do you, I thought people really be like, a lot of times people see you doing that shit and they get mad at what you do. So how do you make them... Do what they supposed to do, you know what I mean? Well, I don't even think, I think I, I'm so modest that sometimes I, I don't know how to really make them do what they, you know, I think I have a, I have the ability to influence people, um, to say, well, aren't you good at this? Can you do this? Can you do that? You know what I mean? To kind of like bring them back to their originality, their, their innate gift, you know, that innate power that everybody is born with. Everybody has that innate, right? 
something in them whoa, that. Wait a minute, whoa, whoa. The innate, what's the? Innate, it's, it's like inherited, but it's like, it's in Do you. Do anybody know what the innate is? Yeah. Y'all know what the innate is? A-T-E. What is it? I-N-A-T-E. I-N-N-A-T-E. Nigga, talk in the mic. I don't know. I'm asking, what the hell is this stuff, man? Tell me. She giving it to you. You said you. Because <laughs> I'm fucked up, but you know why. Well, look. Will you tell us what it is? What is this? Na is when you have something in you that it did, you didn't have to learn it. You didn't have to. It just was born. With, you were born with it. Mm. You know, and and it's something that no one can take away. You know, you don't have to be educated. Holy now I can shit. say that you can educate yourself to to craft it to better craft okay. that that okay. thing to you know what I mean cultivate well, it. So, so how you know you got it and what it is though? How you know where you came up with that name from? What any? Yeah, well, NA is a, is this a term that also means inherent. Um, I don't know if you ever heard. Of, okay, so inherit is like when you being you and who you are, and you start, you know, you being operating in all kinds of businesses and stuff like, stuff like that, and you have established a legacy. Okay, and so your legacy established. Now you have children, right? We have children, and so we want to pass those things down. We're not just operating in uh, any form of entrepreneurship or business because of, for, for nothing, just to say we got money or just because we said that we did it. We want to do it because we want to really pass it down and leave a, behind a legacy, keep the name alive, right? So we want to keep our name alive by inheriting that thing, inherit, inheriting. Well, inherent is nothing that needs to be inherited. It's already there. So you, it's already in you. What you call it? Innate. It's called innate. It's like an innate gift. It's an innate gift. Innate, it means. Why might help me with my innate gift? <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck it is. I want to know what it is. And is there anybody that can help you with that? Well, one, we all actually have been put on this planet to serve. What? We, help one another. To serve everybody? To, to well, self. Who told to, you to, that? And why are we doing it? Well, God told us that. <laughs> the Creator. Right, the creator. We we are creation. So if God said, "Why are we not? God, baddest motherfucker we know, yes. right? That we done never see." Yes. So why are we listening to that shit? Then? Some people do. Some, Most, people do. some people do. I mean, it's probably rare that you're gonna find people who are truly operating in love, and truth. You know, it's definitely people out there, but there's so much fake out. <laughs> you know, it's so much. Hello. <laughs> Unrealistic things happening. Man, you don't know. He was with my man Andre thousand three thousand. He said, "I'm disgusted with this world, and I can't hardly breathe." And told so many lies, don't know what to believe. And you know what? That's why said, people say when they have a problem with something, be the difference. Andre three thousand, he killed that one, man. Who mm-hmm. else? Oh, oh, on Ti John. So much for I'm sorry to all. Else for I'm sorry to y'all know the rap I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't he know. Who else feels up? That one for kick that joint. He said that shit. <laughs> I'm disgusted with this world. Been told so many lies. I don't know what to believe. Damn, he killed that. And it is. You are. We are born well, into the lie. Is, We're man. already born into deception. We're born into. We have to learn who we are. We are. Aren't we? we are. Who deceives you from the door? The enemy. Who's that? <laughs> the un- I don't know. <laughs> Why the fuck you gonna call him that? I'm gonna tell you the enemy. I'll leader. get spiritual, okay? I'll It'll get spiritual. It'll be your mom and dad in that motherfucking house talking this bullshit, and you gotta go to school, and the rap music is out. <laughs> and they talking about you gotta wear this shit here, these motherfucking bobos or something. You ain't going for that. That's the right. enemy right there. Right. What <laughs> you talking about? That's where the fight started. That's right there. Right, right there. <laughs> Hold the fuck up, mom. You but got you know what? That's absolutely true. Our parents you know what I'm definitely. Saying? And it's because they are deceived, and they were deceived. And then unless they know the, the, the truth or the right way, they, they won't change. No, they did the best they could they, with what they had, man. Right. These motherfuckers ain't have shit. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have a motherfucking thing, right. Holmes. They only, listen, if somebody beat the shit out you and told you don't learn nothing, homie, most of the time you probably going to stop that shit. You know what I'm trying to tell you? You're going to stop learning shit. You're going to leave that motherfucker alone. You say, you know what? Fuck this reading shit. These belts and whips to hurt. Fuck that. I don't want nothing, man. You know what I'm trying to tell you? They beat the shit out of them niggas, right. man. You crazy? Mm-hmm. They beat the skin off they ass, homes off they back. Them niggas say, oh, fuck a book, man. Is you crazy? Y'all can't get mad at niggas not worried about no book, man. Right. You understand what I'm saying, no homie? Shit, man, it's bad. We got to break a bottle because we got to learn some stuff, but... 
I, I mean, I don't, I, man, I don't blame you for not knowing that shit, Uncle. I probably would have left that shit alone too. I was leaving it alone, and they didn't beat me. I didn't feel like hearing that bullshit they was talking in school at all. But let alone somebody beat the shit out of you and tell you don't read, right, nigga? Don't. Right. Shit, it saved me something. You ain't got to beat me that much. I don't want to do none of that shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? But you did. Uh, I did. They, did. they made me go to school and do it. But, I mean, to say why parents and stuff be like that mm -hmm. is because a lot of them parents was born in the slave, not far from it, man. Mm -hmm. So they got the shit beat out of them until they don't learn nothing. They beat the shit out of you and won't say nothing to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Won't even tell you why you got your ass beat or nothing. But nothing. Yeah, you just whooped your ass. Now go on chill somewhere. <laughs> you, you hungry? You want something to eat? You know how they say? It, it tries to move Yeah, they don't explain you. nothing to you. Right. You just get fucked up. Right. Ow, ow, ow. God damn. You ain't gonna tell me it. what I did? You ain't gonna let me know what not to do the next time or nothing? Mm -hmm. Just you gonna play with me. What the fuck that mean? I don't know. I didn't play the first time. I was doing some shit. I'm a kid. I just learned. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that, you know, that happened to a lot of us niggas, man. You know what I mean? Right. One, I'm one of them. Yeah, me too. For yeah, sure. Yeah, fucked me up. Yeah, sure. I remember them That's movies. why I was trying to get out of school. I was trying to get out of home early. Mm -hmm. I was trying to run away from home. Because that was the slave camp for me. Right. What the fuck you talking about, man? Right. They, talk, they dictating the shit out to you. Right. Look, you're going to do this and do that and not do this and not do that. Mm -hmm. And they ain't doing nothing for you. Right. All that shit they talking, they doing the bare minimum. <laughs> you know what I'm, to I'm crazy. And maybe because they ain't have it, but nigga, I wasn't hearing them. I couldn't understand them. Right. So those niggas down the street in the like corner. But like you said, they was doing the best they could do. That's all they was doing, bro. But yeah, I'm cool. saying why they got that. They had them lashes on their ass. They got, remember that. They never learned shit. Mm-hmm. It's a fuck one. They beat the shit out of us all. Right. We ain't gonna even, we don't even know why we don't want to learn. We just right. leave that alone, right. homie. Ain't nobody, ain't no big deal to do that around here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't he super big. Right. And the pressure of them putting that on you, it made it big. You got to go to school. You got to go. Why? Because right. you need education. Right. For what? To get a job. Right. What job? Motherfucker. To go to school. Remember, go that, to... remember that commercial? You need a job. Go to school. Man, go to school. Listen, go to this. Man, they talk remember some that? shit to you and they don't even <laughs> explain nothing to you. And all that was a gag. I would never enforce or tell my child that he have to go to college. Like, you know what I mean? Because you tell, you're not telling them the underlying things or the background. You know what I mean? Do yeah. what you choose and you love to do. Do what I'm you're passionate about. I'm just elaborating on that dictator shit you were talking about, man. That, that shit started, that shit was in the house. Mm -hmm. they, they taught them mm -hmm. niggas to dictate your ass. Right. With a belt. Right. Tell me that, y'all. That beatings. Why did your parents, that's how you know slavery, these motherfuckers are bad motherfuckers. Why did they choose a belt to beat you with? Why they ain't just karate chop your ass or something? Just... Boom, just fuck you up like that. Kick, boom, but see what you're doing. Why they say go get that switch? Mm hmm, that switch. Go get that belt. What Damn, what are you thinking about? Stitching cord. Yeah, there you go. You think what I'm saying? That's what fuck you talking about. Yeah, he's talking about. He knows. He must have been. You know, not that even being heavy like that, but when I was coming up, I was bad. You know, yeah. I'm saying? I was super curious. Mm -hmm. And I say that to say, like, my mom used to whoop my ass. Stitch a cord, hanger, for his curiosity, belt, hands. Yeah. But, but to be honest though, mm -hmm. I appreciate every ass whooping I got. Yeah. It, it sharpened me up today. What? You see what I'm saying? Man. Now it, that's like jail. Mm -hmm. We do all this wild shit. We have done wild right. shit. Yeah. But a lot of people haven't experienced the jail, so they don't know the limit to what they're doing until they go in there. You see what I'm saying? Now then it's like, yeah. Ooh, huh? we don't want to go back there no more. You know? Right, right, right. They get right, some right. Which is a different form of beating. Exactly. Well, Actually, yeah, man. Yeah, you but see, that's, I mean? the, that's the grown beat. The meat. Right. Yeah. You don't care. Oh, right. It, it, it don't have no love for you. Right. It don't have no love for you. <laughs> it ain't got no love for you. You go in there and smash right. the tire in two, five right. years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But yeah, that's the part. You heard that, bro? And that's real shit right there. It, it will help you. Yeah. But I'm telling you, man, it will beat the shit out you with this stinging cord because that's all they knew to beat you mm -hmm. with because that's what they learned. Right. Our first class was sent you on. Mm -hmm. That's a whip. It's equivalent to lashes. Belt a wet time. Putting the lashes on your asses, man. <laughs> That's what, but that was only the white people doing that yeah. to you, man. So that goes to show you we really ain't learned our culture for real, for real. Right. We only learned what they was doing to us, and we just gave it to the kids, too. Right. That's all y'all tried to run away from home. 
Everybody in this motherfucker, I'm trying to run away from home. I'm saying, this shit oh, is. Man, I'm, I'm like Kunta getting from them motherfuckers. Don't talk about mom and dad. Y'all strong on me. Fuck this shit. Y'all beat me up with some stinkers and shit. Y'all talk about this guy. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, I got to get away from here. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. It's the truth, though. I'm telling you what I was going through. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm saying that's how much that shit been indoctrinated on you, man. It's been indoctrinated on you from them. We ain't still think about it, dog. You, where you learn, that's the tradition to you. Get your ass beat with a belt, go get the belt. Look on Kid and Play. Right. Mm -hmm. House party. That motherfucker said, go get the belt. And took his clothes off, whipped on his ass, homie. <laughs> he big ass man in there. He big tall as shit, he's taller than him. You beating on me, motherfucker, what's wrong with you? And I got to take this shit. That's the first, I'm trying to, that's the first plantation you're trying to get the fuck away from. Right. Because it's the same thing, I'm trying to tell you. It was the same joke, because they taught them niggas how to do that to the people, man. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Which is. And we don't know that. We all know that, but you won't. You only want to do that to you. Don't even really feel good beating him like that. Your son, mm -hmm. right. he bang you, get a belt and just this is just it Don't even feel right to right. do him like that. Right. You like this ain't right, but I gotta do it because this is what they taught me to do, mm -hmm. and I gotta discipline him, and I, mm -hmm. I gotta explain to him. I just beat the shit out of him. He's sitting there sniffling and snotting all this shit. He don't understand the fuck you talking about. Mm -hmm. I just whooped his ass. He understand. He only hear that. Right. The fuck you beat me like that for, Dad? God damn. You understand what I'm saying? Right, because they fail to, because that's the only, like you said, it's the only language that they can, you know, discipline. But really, children needs conversation. You know what I mean? And the only way they can get that is if you are educated or, you know, know how to converse with them and dialogue with them on things that's important because so again, kids. So again, I'm telling you, they just told you. They beat the shit out of niggas and they ain't no shit. Don't talk, no nothing. Which didn't help. That's what I'm saying. Right. So they don't know how to tell them. Right. You got to converse with them. You got to think of that. You just start. We just starting to really think of that. us little generation is really just starting to think mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. right? For real, for real. But think about the ass whoopings you got on you. That was from generations on generations right. on pass down. You starting to say, hey, that didn't work for me. Let me right. try something new. Right. Try something new. But beating always that made me run from them motherfuckers. Right. I wasn't trying to hear shit they were right. saying. I had a beef with them the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Your mom right. beat you, she got to feed you, but you mad at her too because she beat you too. But you gonna go eat the fucking food because you ain't got nowhere else to go eat. But you in there, you really beefing with your mom and your pop too. These motherfuckers ain't gonna beat me and all ask for some sneakers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Damn, they gonna get mad at me because I'm outside doing this shit like this. You beefing with them mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. And they know you're gonna beef with them because you just got your ass beat and they ain't even tell you nothing. You just did something, you just beat the shit out you for something you want. Mm -hmm. God damn, homie. Mm -hmm. Talk to explain that one to me, Eminem. I mean, I can't explain that particular <laughs> thing. However, <laughs> like you said, it's because, you know, it's a lack of love. A lacking of loving, love, lacking of caring, lacking of understanding um, the need to support. Why they did that? You already said why. Tell That's me. all they know. That's and what so they, they so they complete com, they continue the cycle. So now you understand so what I'm a, saying. So it takes a child. That's why they say some things like, you know, children. He said he was bad, and, but he was curious. But really, you know what I mean? When you're a radical and you're, you know, a lot of kids can't, don't learn the same way. Was he a radical? Because I'm going to tell you, the motherfucker actually probably did more than his mother and father. I know the nigga. That nigga sitting on the couch. He probably made more money than his mother and father ever did in but their life. But that's what I'm saying. That's a radical. You see what I'm saying? So, right. so why does that got to be radical? Right. That seemed like a fucking no, good entrepreneur. I nigga. think that... To be an entrepreneur is a radical activity, first of all, because you're doing something bizarre, different. So you're now, not a parent. now, stop. I want to know why that's so bizarre. Because they don't see, they, it's too far-fetched for them. It's been a indoctrinated. Lot because that's uh, all they know. It's been indoctrinated. It's, like, yeah. it's been indoctrinated Through schools, you. you know, we was taught through these schools, that's why homeschooling was necessary. It, but this was all in the cycle how they civilized us. When they did civilization, it gave us hours mm -hmm. at work, put a clock on it. So now they got your parents that worked eight and something hours horsing up the street. So the, the, the really, the, the, uh, the, the, the fucking schools own your children. The daycares are raising your children. Okay. Well, now we got to monitor who the fuck running these daycares. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, when I know for a fact I've known women tell they, they watch porn on break while they in the bathroom of a daycare. What? This is real shit. 
it made me look like I told chicks start telling women like you gotta start home ch- homeschooling your children yeah. because now when you coming home and you see your children acting out behaviors that's not becoming in a home you don't know where the fuck it's coming from because you letting your child be in ra- you see yeah. a child like two three hours out of a fucking hey, day boy. and yo he just made a strong see this is shit. This, I want this is why I want to get into this kind of shit you heard what he said he said dig it your parents is away probably ten hours of the day. You ain't with them, and pick it up. the fucking kids you is that's learning some other shit from somebody else. Yeah, the community, the people outside. Cause shit, the ain't, they at work. Mm-hmm. They getting stressed the fuck out at work. That's crazy. So by the time you come home to try to even explain some things that's going on with you, because they too busy trying to make a dollar mm-hmm. to put some food on the table, because they think that's all it's about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, you getting on they fucking nerves. nerves. Yeah, right. they done worn out and tired. Yeah, that's real. You getting on they fucking nerves. So now where you going to learn from? Somebody going to talk to you in the street. Right. That nigga up the street, man, he hustling and getting money, man. They gave you $5 like it was nothing. Mm-hmm. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? God damn, for your $5, I'll lash you back in the day, nigga. First of all, Chinese store, man, three chicken wings was a dollar back in the day. French fries like 75 cent, nigga, some of them man. Rice and gravy, 90 cent, nigga. You know what you do with $5 a weekend? We talking about a kid with five dollars. Your mom tell you to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so we gonna go listen it up. They ain't home to even tell us shit. Right. So we gonna go listen to the hustler on the corner. Mm-hmm. They get money, bro. That shit making sense to us. Right. You think that was done like by accident? You think that's by design? Design. That's definitely by design for sure. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? They can't tell us shit. They don't even know us. Mm-hmm. The parents at home or at work all day, mm-hmm. and we at school all they don't day. Know the we home. learning two different things. They don't know the, they kids. They don't even they know. They don't even know their own kids. They this is can't really what's know. going on. This is why they can't understand why their children is their child is acting out, or you know, because it, like you just said, <laughs> that's why a lot of guys, young men, they go to the streets because they're getting that thing. They're getting an exchange. Bro, as far as they're concerned, that currency, yeah. that dollar bill, strong as a motherfucker. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? Let me tell you something. That new United States currency dollar bill is a bad motherfucker homes. You can go anywhere in the world and spend that motherfucker. Go to Mexico and try to bring one of them dollar bills and get spend that McDonald's here. It'll tell you, get the fuck out of here. What is this bullshit? Mm-hmm. So that dollar was strong mm-hmm. to us, home. It did everything for us, man. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That motherfucker, anywhere in the world, whatever that dollar value was, it'll move it. If them sneakers was $50, nigga, and you had 50, them sneakers in your hand. Right. That dollar had authority, Holmes. Mm-hmm. We wasn't thinking about that mom and shit once we got a dollar bill. Right. Mom, it's just motherfucking dollar give us authority. Mm-hmm. Fuck you talking about? Because you can get what you want. Moms can't get it, so I'm going to get it myself. So we start losing respect for the parents and stuff like that, too. Become a rebel. You know what I'm saying? We start to take care of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We getting so much motherfucking money, we start doing shit for them. But they was trying to stop you from, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know each other at all, man. We don't know mm-hmm. shit, man. We don't know none of that yep. shit, man. It's bad, man. You know what I'm saying? Without a doubt. Seriously, and so man. that's why. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me know. time in. Let me time in. I feel like. I feel like um, what you were saying uh, with the educational part, I feel like the educational part uh, is very important, especially school, but I feel like the education should be designed towards actual needs Mm -hmm. and not the education of a a holistic system. Exactly. So, like, they should be teaching psychology in high school, things like that, that a motherfucker can use in real life instead of teaching them how to uh, find a... The area of a triangle, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's like or financial, right. it's financial, right? And so, things of that nature. so, so when they get into it, where I feel like people uh, like myself that are the younger generation, we have so much access to a lot of different information okay. that we don't really need school. Right. So that's why I feel like we could be the better parents mm-hmm. because we can learn things from mm-hmm. an instantaneous uh, standpoint right. instead of like the old people right. back then. They went to school. You might have some people that went to college and study that stuff right. so they can do and be better parents. Right. But to the motherfuckers that didn't, they left high school and went to the factory, right. they don't know nothing but trying to, you know, Maybe work a machine. So, Feed your ass. That's it. Yeah. So I think, you know, just um, having a different structure for education mm-hmm. is definitely what we need to build a better household right. because... That's the only way we're going to get the knowledge. Right. There ain't no way else. And then, and then I want to add to that is, and, you know, a lot of, 
parents think that their child has ADHD and they, you know, they looking like, oh, let me get a check, like, for their child, you know, when really your child has a lot of energy that he needs to put that energy into what he might like, or you, you know what I mean? So that's There's, because they wasn't educated on what it really is, so they just say whatever so they, they told them. They was. just go by what the psychologist what says, or oh, that's ADHD, and yeah, so they looking at it, right? Let's put a, here, and right? I and I disagree with that. I feel that you know that's very lazy for a, a parent to even but, allow. Yeah, but shit, man, they don't know nothing. Well, this is why people exist. So hold that up, people, hold up, you've been trained to just really fucking. Listen to white people. Mm -hmm. So whatever they say, you just go Both with that. White so people. <laughs> I mean, saying, I you've been trained to listen racist. to white people for real. So when you, if the, this person said your child got this, they gonna beat that child. Tell them they got that shit. Yeah. Too. Now they wanna believe you know, the lie. You heard what the lie. doctor said to you, nigga? Yeah. 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 They believe the lie. Like, Mom, I ain't did to be Shut the fuck up. You don't know shit. What man just told you what you is. See, but at this point, this it's not even... This playing a serious game on you. But the deep part is, it's not even that. At this point, they're they doing that so that they can get a check now. Like, you know what I mean? They're looking at, this is their profit that they're going to get off their child. They're not looking at, <laughs> you know what I mean? The big picture of your child really needs something. Your, your child is... Kids have a lot of energy. We can't tame them to do nothing. We have to allow them to get... And this is where I created... This is why I created Eminent Virtue. The innate gift is is what is yours. You don't need money for it. It can make you money because right. it's, it, your gift it becomes a talent for other people. You understand what I'm saying? A gift and talent is hand in hand because the gift is yours. But you get you give and you get and receive the talent. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, they used to call money talents. You know what I mean? In the history time. However, um, what they do now is try to maintain the system, the systematic you know, way of thinking, mm -hmm. moving, living, education, you know what I mean? I think, like Cooley said, if they're good at trades, give them the, 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 the tools and the equipment necessary to build. You know what I mean? If they're good at music, give them the studio, give them the, th the necessary tools in order to enhance their skills. Yes. If they're good at athletics, fine, let them pursue that. Right. You know what I mean? But have these things available. A lot of people have to, never finished school, never can. finished regular basic 12th Shit, grade, and, yeah, listen, nigga, listen. and still on top. You see the black you see what I'm champagne? Saying? This motherfucker's a billionaire. Fuck what you talking about. Because they try my, to make you think my that My college you, dropout like my man Ye, because he's a billionaire too. And that's his young boy. But bro, this nigga ain't graduated high school and became a fucking billionaire. Can you hear that from the projects? Mm -hmm. The lowest place that anybody, everybody know the projects like the worst mm -hmm. place to live, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, they market that to you like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the low of the low, nigga. You in the projects, nigga. You, your family ain't got no hope, nigga. Mm -hmm. like, you really fucked up. You in the projects. But that's what makes you hungry. You be a billionaire and didn't even finish fucking school at oh, high school. Fuck going to college and dropping out. He ain't finished high school, man. I'm saying we sitting here drinking the champagne, man. Mm -hmm. Wearing fucking plain tats. He put his friends on, all that kind of shit, man. From high school education, so it shows you, bro. Everybody doesn't need that to be successful. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't, but they'll Everybody beat different. the shit out you, man, and make you go to school. And a lot of that is probably fear for you not having nothing and that. stuff like that. I was you know? say but that. they don't explain mm -hmm. that to you. I was gonna say that. Do your parents beat the shit out you and tell you, man, I'm scared for you to not be nothing because I ain't have much of nothing and not. They just beat the shit out you, mm -hmm. homie. You don't know what the fuck goes on, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. You just get your whelps on your ass, right. and you know whatever you did, you was trying to stay away from that for a while. Because a few months go by, six months of them, you'll forget that ass whooping and do some other shit. Mm -hmm. And remember it after you did it, and, and they tell you it was bad. You just, damn, I'm ready to go get this. And that's what makes you ain't want to go home no more. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I'm, nigga, Listen, and that's ass why whooping, I, I knew it was coming to, and I don't know what was wrong with me. I just kept getting ass whooping at the ass whooping. I, fuck it, you gonna beat me? Fuck it, then. Come on, then, man. I'm <laughs> you ready for this? Yeah, <laughs> but I'm doing this bad shit. Fuck it, man, because I'm tired of You gonna get beat anyway. Nigga, I'm gonna get beat anyway, so fuck, I'm gonna go all the fuck out, man. Right. And, I, bro, at a certain time, I, I'm tired of going home. I ain't gonna go to the plantation no more. Fuck right. that, y'all, because y'all feed me and give me this bullshit, y'all talk do all this shit I got the fuck to do because y'all giving me a little bit of this shit. Right. I'm off this plantation, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? At the first plantation. 
All of us is on that motherfucker. I'm cracking man. up. But that's true because, it, like you said, because the, because the parent, as a parent, I'm a parent. I have three daughters. And I'm a hustler. I'm going to get it. You know what I mean? And I didn't have parents. You know, I had parents. Mm. But I didn't have any direction and guidance and someone to tell me how to do this and how to do that. I literally have to and still am learning these things on my own. And attempting to connect with good, valuable people. You know what I mean? Because you have been hurt and, and mistreated and lied to and deceived by so many people thinking, or not you thinking, you want help. You want to believe that everybody is you or I want to believe everybody is me, Kelly, because I'm really thorough, and I don't want to really say who I am. I'd rather people speak on behalf of who I am. It will. You understand will. what I'm saying? Because, tell you who you are. because ultimately, that is your reputation that you want to uphold. So eminent is not just a leader, because that's what it is. It's a leader, but you upholding a stature, a standard, you know, stature of integrity. Mm -hmm. A stature of integrity. It's a character thing. You understand what I'm saying? People scream loyalty, loyal, loyal, loyal. But really, integrity is very, very important because it's your character. It's who you are. It's your makeup. And despite it's who you are when nobody's looking. And no, when nobody's you're the watching. the same person. That's what integrity is. When you're the same person. In and off the camera. And, and Home people too. people behind their back. Or, and that's your, your peers. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You, you get that from them. Like, um, they judge you. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, that boy, he, Always come through for me, or you know what I'm saying, and that's how you get your reputation mm -hmm. out of town. With right, your peers, what they you, say yeah, what they about say you, about like, you. yeah, she always do this, or he's always, and right, he, right. you know what I mean, because that's what you're known for. You're so known when you're for. known for that thing, that's what eminent is. You known for this thing, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and so that's you leaving your legacy already. You're mm -hmm. establishing your legacy. You're setting down the rocks, the foundation. You understand, so people could be like, yes, not so that they can do that, but they will. <laughs> Because they're going to have no choice. They have to speak the truth. You know Everybody what I mean? They don't have to do that. They don't have to, but they're you going know, to... Listen. These motherfuckers don't. Listen. Listen to me. If... They, they ain't got to do that because a lot of people choose not to. They choose not to. You hear me? Well, all of us have a choice. We're human beings. Right. So we have the, you know, the gift of being able to choose. But I'm telling you, they don't have to do it. You want, we want them to have to do it. And that's what they should do. But these motherfuckers don't tell the truth at all. So what I'm saying is, is that them not telling the truth or them not saying, yeah, I know Donald. I know Donald Harvey. You know what I mean? I can, me knowing him, and I can say that I don't and act like I do not know. You know what I mean? And just be mute. People do that because that's a form of hate. But either you way. It, why did that part, the form of hate, why? What, do you think it's hate or do you think that it's, um they really been indoctrinated with this shit that if you give another person praise, that you, you for some reason, you're beneath them. Like, they call it dick eating or well, I think it depends on the person's mentality. I think it depends like on the, the way no, that I'm people... Saying, but this ain't really the mentality. This is something that's been indoctrinated on you because you get this a lot. Because why wouldn't you get that? Right. Why wouldn't you say, Donald Trump, hey, man, you live and shit. Or, you know, or when you do do that, somebody says, hey, man, do it all on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? God damn, you all on him and shit. God damn, homie. Just let the boy breathe. Let the, you know, you get that, so you be afraid of that. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you about the judging stuff, mm -hmm. man. That judging stuff got to go. Mm -hmm. It's a sin. Mm -hmm. If nobody judged, you wouldn't be worried about right. that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's why I say it depends on the mentality of the individual. Mentality been fucked up because you don't even taught this shit. This is what we talking about. Well, see, about. I, I I don't have no problem. You for me personally, I wouldn't mind doing that. See, because I feel like to I celebrate. I see you, you fronting on me. You saying in real life? <laughs> <laughs> he brought. <it. laughs> Listen, I can't, I, I can't be like, no, I don't, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know or not try to celebrate somebody. I think that, that's why I, what I said, why I say it's hating is because when you don't want to celebrate somebody else or give them that glory, you're really hindering yourself. You're stopping it, it, your own blessings. Your own growth. Your right. own, because right. why wouldn't you want to celebrate someone else's, they Especially don't have to you have. like it. Yeah. We like Donald Harvey over here, you know, but Donald Harvey. It's the shit over this during that NGTV and everywhere, for real. In fact, he become a sensation. We used him as a as an example, and yes. that's good, but because he's blowing the fuck up right now, y'all. Y'all can see And has a good more. heart. And, and truly a, And he's a really a good humble dude. Yes, he's, dude. he's humble with what he's doing. And he's so we used him as a you know example, y'all. You know what I mean? Shout out to Tom Hart. Shout out. Man. 
<laughs> yeah, this uptown, y'all. That shit gonna come to life. Watch. Groovy, baby. That nigga gonna run that shit for real. Watch y'all hear me saying this shit on the yes. really real. That uptown shit that he do, that nigga gonna come to life with that. I don't wanna get off all that too much, but he gonna do that one. Go ahead, tell, tell us, Vic. I'm Vic. I'm talking about calling him Vic. Shout out to 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 Vic. MGTV, Vic. MGTV. Just, Vic. Listen, tell us, Kels. You ain't finished, man. I know you done forgot him. You told you all this shit about Don R. <laughs> Cool, yeah, you yeah, say so. I can, yeah, yeah, cool. Tell us, yeah. Cool. So, um, uh, I just wanted a different perspective on uh, which I was talking about. Just wanted to add it to the conversation. Yeah. But uh, I feel like um, me as a, a guy that I do what I say, you know, so y'all can vouch for what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't really like to give praise because mm -hmm. praise can also be a malicious intent, like an evil eye. So like, say if you see somebody doing something good and you be like, yo man, like I see you, but you really envy that person. Mm -hmm. So like, your speech can be like misled to, to, to ill wishes. So that's why I always, even if I get a compliment, and even if I don't like what you're doing, I always return it because it's like, I don't want you putting that juju mm -hmm. on me. But uh, for, for myself personally, I say that um, I love to support people. I feel like the support and shouting out people is like two different things. So like I can give you your flowers by saying that, um, oh, I see you have an event coming up. Uh, it costs me nothing to post your event. I don't ask you for nothing. I just post it as a support right. rather than saying, yo, I see you doing great. Well, yeah, I, you know, you see me doing, but like, you know, you can help out a little bit, you know. So I figure I'd rather help a person out than anything. You know, I, I also work with uh, I am Harvey and, uh, you know, I, I I'm the cameraman uh, behind the scenes. Okay. But, you know, I, I, I don't really stay who I am. I, you know, I, I don't get paid for anything. I just do it on the strength that because, you know, I support him. So right. I'm like, you know what? You need somebody to get your ideas flowing and you have a direction what you do. So therefore, I know I can do that. So I'm gonna help you out, regardless. It's and an exchange, I feel like, though. exactly, it's an and that support is greater than anybody saying anything to him, mm -hmm. just for the simple fact that it's honest. Right. It's like, I right. do more you know, right? I want to do more on how to support because I I'm on this um, on the Instagram thing, and I'm, I tell y'all, I'm new to this stuff. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm fucking up. <laughs> but I'm going to learn this shit. But I try to send people this, you know, that same support back because shit, it's important. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's important for us to love one another. You hear Diddy? Diddy, his name is love now. Because, and I'm telling you, his name, his name is love now. He always said that, John. That's what he said, I'm love now. Oh, he, he changed his name? I don't know. It still said Diddy on the ground. Oh, okay. He spread that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Bro. Ho oh, at the 444 John, man. Uh, when he did Made in America. Mm -hmm. So we got to love. We got to love each other. Motherfuckers sure. understand that if we do that more, right. bro, we're going to win. Because that means you want for me what I want for you. Right. And if we understand what we supposed to have, right. then we're going to be reaching for some high things right. to want for each other. Right. You understand know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We're kings and queens, so... Mm -hmm. We're going to be reaching for that for each other. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? You you have to believe it for yourself. You have to know it for your own self for, to receive it. But to say, to, to I want to add to Cooley, mm -hmm. celebration to me, Cooley, is when you're not in a room. And if you're not here in a room and it's other people in a room, you feel what I'm saying, then I can say, you know, this is, you know what I'm saying? Because why would I even have to bring you up if you're not present? You understand what I'm saying? So me bringing you up is a form of celebrating. I'm supporting and it's celebrating because I'm making mention of you. Like, yeah, I know a guy and he can do this. He's a photographer. Like, you know what I mean? Because I want you to have that, and that you know what I mean? Whatever that work is and stuff like that. So that's what I mean as far as the celebration. Not with you saying, hey, because yeah, people are malicious. But ultimately, that's still not gonna. It's still not gonna be growing on their on their behalf either, because you're being fake, and that's what I'm saying. It's fake when people try to make it look like, oh, hey, girl, how you doing? You can you can feel the energy. Can't, it's different. So, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I don't all the time be feeling it, the energy because I believe that you for real. Mm -hmm. You know whole what I'm time. saying? I really believe the whole in time. that. Damn, there's no reason for you to tell me that because what the fuck? I didn't ask you to do that. Exactly. You didn't even have to offer that. So I'm believing that that's real when you give that up. I'm not thinking that 
I got a spotlight at this moment, mm-hmm. and by you saying that, puts a spotlight. You want on you want you. attention or gratitude or for you saying get something hey. from that, right? Or, or not only do you want it, you know you're gonna get it yeah. because you know that he's the type of person that's going to say back and mm-hmm. appreciate that back and probably right. tell people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When they don't really mean it a lot mm-hmm. of times. You know? And that's deep because I feel like that's too much thinking. Like you're saying, if you saying, thing. if you say, you know, Kels, I, you know, that's you thorough. That's you know what I mean. That was good. I like that what you did. Da 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 da. Like you said, I believe that. I'm going to believe that. I have no choice but to believe it because you're saying it. And if once you say it out your mouth, it's supposed to bring forth life. You know what I mean? It's, so I feel like it's too much work for me to have to discern where you really coming from. So you know what I mean? So you just assume that... Like, is she really serious? Is he really serious? Is he but, really and that, celebrating me? So what's me? bad about that is because you've seen so many people... Act like they doing it, mm-hmm. right. and then you find out otherwise. That right. they wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that be like, you know what I mean? That mm-hmm. be fucking you up. Right. Like, damn. Like, damn, that's how about? she really felt? Well, she yeah, told I, me. It hurt you know what I mean? You got me believing. Yeah, you believed it. And that be like, that's a lot of things that happen with everything. Relationships and all. You believe something. And then it, you find out it don't be true. Right. So the disappointment be in the dishonesty. The dishonesty. And you think somebody deceived you to believe a certain thing, and it wasn't that. Right. Because I, I tell it about women all the time. We fuck a lot of broads, and they go home to their boyfriends, and we don't care. But if it's your girlfriend, y'all supposed to be in a monogamous relationship, and mm-hmm. she go fuck somebody else, you gonna be upset at her. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. why is that? And you ain't even got no problem with another nigga fucking no bitch that you fuck, because you right. fuck niggas bitches. Your problem is she just lied to you she and told to you. you she wasn't doing right. that. And yeah. that's what hurt your feelings. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you see people... And your man, you find out, damn, he was praising me in front of my face. I thought he really meant that. Right. The only thing that hurts your feelings is you believe he that was you believe doing it. that. Right. First. Dang, nothing else didn't even bother you. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It did. Man, that hurts because you'd be like, why would you go through this much to right. make you believe this and you really don't feel like right. that? And that's and, and that's what a lot of people are dealing with. You know, their fault. They have a they have a lot of insecurities. You know what I mean? People we have insecurities. do because of this slavery shit, man. This shit fucked us up, man. We believe we ain't shit. We got to do everything to make us look good. Mm-hmm. Still won't have shit, but we'll do all this shit we got to do just to look good so people can feel like, you so know. they can feel good. Yeah, like I'm something, see? And you still, that's all you got It's feeling good. But you stuck in that way. And you might not even because, feel good. <laughs> but you stuck in that way, you know, still trying to get, um, you know, recognition or, or some type validation. of uh, validation from people because... These whiteys in this country, man, the people did that shit mm-hmm. to you, made you feel like you wasn't shit, mm-hmm. man. This whole time. And your parents and that, and they put things in place to let you know you ain't that. Mm-hmm. Because you'll see this motherfucker get treated different than this person. Right. So that'd be like mm-hmm. fucking you up, man. Right. Psych- and, and psychologically, you fucked up. Especially when it's coming from your parents. Man, like, I'm that's sorry. the, like you said, that's the first. No, well, it's in the first, house. That's right. the first plantation. The first you plantation. Because you said we was born into, you know. We we were, we all have, remember we were talking about the last show, a couple shows ago, we were talking about the purity that we are born into. We are, we are yeah, naturally yeah, pure, cool. but as we grow and as we are groomed and shapen and fashioned, we are stripped away of those purities. This shit you know what I mean? you up, man. Yes. That shit fuck you up, man. Cool. I'll give me a light. Give me a light. Yeah, with mine. Mine. Yeah, he gave me three joints. Damn, Cooley must got four. You know what I mean, man? Oh, yo. This is the loudest odd pod, odd cast I see. Podcast. That bunch of grubs right there, right there. Yeah. Listen. That's right, right. Yeah. Is this real shit? Yeah, over there, G-Pop. No, I'm in school. This yeah, I, is water. I, I, I'm sitting in building. I'm, 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 I'm building and listening to y'all, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 shit, that shit be real because it's like, you know what I'm saying? That shit be real because... You got to really block that shit out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a lot of people out here living in the past. Mm-hmm. They can't even they can't even fan them on this day we on right now. Right. And then fuck with the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that right there, Ben said, is like a lot of people going to self-kill themselves mm-hmm. mentally. mentally. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because for real, to be honest, it's the mental. It's the mental. You got to control. Mm-hmm. Like, I was telling Hawk on the elevator. Like so many people got in the game just seeing the money, but a lot of people couldn't move and shake like us. That's right. We we was on it. They right. was just in a way not seeing it. Right. So it fucked it up for us. Right. You see what I'm saying? We labeled dangerous. No. Nigga going there to blaze everybody out. Now we come to the store, we got chips in our pocket. 
we got trips with this, but we still get labeled. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I mean, you just gotta just shut that, change that channel. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Cause it's, we, we gonna go through that until we die. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta find something for yourself. You follow what I'm saying? Man. You said that motherfucker, you heard that shit, on? He telling yeah. you, man, yeah, I and, I, and I know yourself. it's true. I know it's true from him because shit, man, I, I know the nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to tell you, man? I'll I tell you how real this is, bro. Years and years ago, <laughs> man, we up the skating rink. I'm with a yeah. nigga I really ain't supposed to be with. You know mm -hmm. what I'm trying to tell you? They kicked my motherfucking ass for trying to help him. It wasn't even bothering me first. But they kicked my ass for helping that nigga. He did, did some shit to them. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you in there, and we right here sitting there kicking it, chilling the day like it's nothing. That's a mindset. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? So you got to change yeah, the that shit. Whatever the fuck that shit be, homie. Right. We in a whole nother kind of fight, right. man. Right. They right. fucking us up bad. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. We got to stop that right. shit. You understand what I'm saying? And See, he telling was, me. We, 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 was living, we, we was living in that zone back then. It was yeah. like all of us thinking out one brain. Man. You see what I'm saying? We all was thinking out one brain. And it wasn't enough in intensity because he was the target. But in the science of that, I respect how things move because he still had the answer to a situation. That's right. Just trying to think for other motherfuckers. No fuck. Mm -hmm. You see what right. I'm saying? So, man, that shit real, you know, man. And, 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 and you know what's so crazy, though, on some real shit? All the shit I've been through, I thought about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ran across each other. Or, you know what I'm saying? We still, yeah, after that. that. But after that. But, I, like, I didn't I didn't know your personality. I didn't know yeah. your heart. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. No, it be you like, know, like Like real shit. Like, we go like, through damn, shit. But man. then again, it's like when people clash heads, you fuck around clash heads with a nigga that's just like you. And you mm -hmm. you, you know it's people. All because you know of the circumstances. Like, damn. Right. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because so, of circumstances. Like, you don't even it, it, know it. You don't even you, get a you chance. You see what I'm saying? Know. Like, that shit be so real. Like, I'm fighting my own demons. Mm. It ain't even got nothing to do with these niggas right. or these chicks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just come from that sand in my eyes. And this dude right shit, here man. and a few other guys right. was there for me. That's right. right. You That's see right. what I'm saying? So, it's Shout like out right to now, them. I fight my demons trying to get back to... Bucks, right? But I got to be on Georgie, yeah, George. You George see what I'm saying? Third, so I'm right. right here. You see what right. I'm saying? So That's you know right. what I'm saying? I got real motherfuckers that love me. I love my. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So yep. I got to work with that. I can't worry about exactly. what they're doing out there. Who don't? Right. You know what I'm right. We got to do. What we got to do. Right. We got to do. What we got to do. But see, once they see us do what we have to do, they gonna want to. They gonna gravitate. You they gotta do what we got to do. How they gotta do? That's why we here, man. See what I'm talking you see about? What I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, man. Every jewel that I give just from the street because I don't do this right here. You yep. know, I'm I'm allergic to the all. law. I don't like talking. You none know, of I, this. I turn the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, we do none <laughs> of this. This, this, this <laughs> why it's so loud. Because we don't do this. They see us. <laughs> the thing Medusa shit. hit me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's real, but we got to say what we can because right. a lot of people have Need mentioned that everybody's not illiterate. People no. can comprehend. So they need, you understand know what I'm saying? That's right, that's so right. Got it out. Know, that's absolutely. what we can give back. And uh, listen, yeah. some people, a lot of people are more visual learners than, than you know what I mean, able to read out of a book or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or right. they need to, like, I'm a visual learner. I got to see it. Let me see right. it and I'm going to learn it just like that. You know what I mean? I'm, I pass instructions sometimes, right. you know. Now, if it's a little difficult, I might go right. back like, maybe, <laughs> let me see what I missed. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. I'm trying to get it because I feel like I can put it together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If I can just look at it and make it live. But. That's what we doing, though. You see this shit, bro? Right. I'm telling you, this the only way we're right. going to beat them is if we stick together and right. do this shit for real. Mm -hmm. right. Fuck the fake, ah, I like y'all. Right. No, right. let me try this shit for real, for man. Real, right. and, and I, I, I can go on this other shit, you know what I'm saying, real hard. This bullshit. Right. Let me go on this right shit real hard. Right. Right. And right. two, to add to what you just said, it's cool to not like something. Right. Yeah. If something's not your cup of tea, it's cool. Right. It's like, yo, oh, no, nah, I ain't got nothing against him. We just ain't cool. Yeah, I just, yeah, it's cool. Does, I right. just don't do it. Right. You don't have to hate someone like because you don't right. like someone. Right. Or, or a trait that they have or something because you, you might just, not know him like he just told you. You might not even know a nigga character, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. And you right. just, right. you know what right. I'm saying? You don't know him. You just assume it. Mm -hmm. So you don't know, but sometimes you might it might not miss, but you don't have to hate them. Right. But to. once you do learn that, if you ever do learn that. Because right. everybody it's is your different. Right. Everybody right. is different. Everybody has a different makeup. Everybody has a different gift, skill, whatever. You know what I mean? And everybody, you gotta let the people be you. That's them. Right. You know what I mean? Like let me be me. Right. I can't change some things. I'm not saying I, I don't have any room for change. Yeah. But 
at the same time, there's some things about me that is me. It makes me me. Right. You know what I mean? And so my makeup is who I am. And, you know, I, I like to have friends or, you know what I mean, people mm -hmm. that's going to say, Kelly, you could do this or you could do that. You know what I mean? And, and, this, and this is going to be a better way. You know what I mean? Right. Either I'm going to accept it or I'm not going to accept it. Right. You know what I mean? Because ultimately, they don't even have to exchange and give me right. that information. That right. intel is going to assist me. You know what I mean? And if I'm vulnerable enough, I want to use that word, vulnerable, because people think that, you know, you were saying earlier, off the, off the cam, you know what I mean, that guys, when guys are looking at you, that, you know what I mean, other people are like, look at him, he, he look at that, he gay, like, you know what I mean, like, no, when really, you know, he's trying to check you out, he's trying to recollect. Might be wanting to give you a compliment yeah, on your clothes yeah, or something, something. don't know how to because... Or he recollect you from somewhere or something, you know what I mean, he's trying to put one and two Never together. Know. Never you know what I mean, it's not always somebody looking at you sideways, you know right. what I mean, and, but people so guarded. Because of what we done been through. The stuff that's been indoctrinated on us, man. Mm -hmm. So we we fucked up, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It don't even be like that, but it didn't happen to us. So this is the way we thinking, cause mm -hmm. it's, we've been trained to think like that. Right. That ain't really it. You be paranoid about stuff that ain't even really going on. Right. Paranoid. You just thinking this this All was happening and stuff. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's some trippy shit. You know, a lot of people do that. They have conversation with themselves and you, and you never was present. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm serious, man? Y'all ain't never seen that shit, man. Yeah, I seen and it. And I'm telling you, it's proof in it. Cause the month, you'll tell them a motherfucker ask you something about what you're doing. They said, no, nah, you ain't did that, nigga. You know what you... And I said, wait a minute. It just asked me <laughs> what they I did. They for you. And I told you, and then you just told me I didn't do that. Right. This is what I did. All because you had a conversation with yourself right. before, and I was never there. Yeah. And you answered this stuff for me. So you believe that you, I did this already. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. This is no, that ain't what you said. You did this, nigga. I'm saying, no, nah, I was down there. I, took, <laughs> I was right over there. No, nah, nigga, you wasn't. I, I know you wasn't there. Because I called this many times. What, my phone. I, they will make it up in their head. Because they believe. Doing. Because they sold out in their own mind. And, but why do the sellout sell always. Sold. But listen to this, right? Now, why does that always have to be. The negative side mm -hmm. of the story, mm -hmm. like every time it's something that you, it ain't right, it's a negative. Mm -hmm. He ain't answer the phone. He ain't fucking with me no more. Right. <laughs> fuck the fuck, man. Fuck the Because the mind, the mind, maybe just didn't wanders. Even go through right. People mind just but, wandering. But, but listen to what I'm saying. Why did it wander there? Because, I, I mean, not to say I can, I can answer only because I know. And I've, I've been there. I'm, I'm, I'm not making it seem like I, you know, I'm just like Kelly's just there. Whatever. No, I've been through so much, so many different transitions. And it's like, one is the lack of love, care. You know what I mean? When, if you felt abandoned at, at whatever time, you know what I'm saying? So you believe everything is abandoned in you when you get that? Well, I'm not saying everything. I, no, I would listen say, to what I'm saying. When somebody believes that you're ignoring them on purpose... Why do they believe you ignoring them on purpose instead of believing that something just must be wrong? Well, I mean, one, they got too much time on their hands, I mean, I would say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or two, but seriously, it's an abandonment issue. It's an insecurity issue. It's a devil. It, I feel like it's a, it's a multiple, it's multiple things. Oh, everybody do that. You know, I always ask this shit. I be like, yo, why do the mishap that you don't know that's going on has to always be negative? You, if you understand what I'm saying, mm -hmm. why couldn't you never think of it being a, a something positive? Or why does it always have to be offense to you? Mm -hmm. He's ignoring me. I Not that, damn, his phone died. Motherfucker lost it. He left it at the store. He couldn't answer. Automatically, you go to the, that's what he must be doing to me. Mm -hmm. You know, motherfucker playing me and shit. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm why don't we go there instead of, man, he might have lost his phone I, or something. I would say you know it's easy saying? to think pessimistic. A lot of people are so pessimistic. That's easy, easy to do. It's easy to be it is. Why is that easy to do? Because it, but, Let me get a lighter. <laughs> Because, because from right here. my man, oh, yeah. yeah, because I'm glad the why right there is a good why, right? Right. Now, the why could be answered in theory, not more direct, but to say a lot of people have been traumatized, right, and disappointed in a lifetime, maybe by their parent, you know, not showing up, you know, those times. I've been, I've endeared that shit. My dad telling me he gonna come get me, mom got me out there, my shit backed all up, and he don't never show up. Right. So, you know, but I, but now this is where me and you had conversations based on only the strong survive because God give us these tests as children. We don't know that we're going to get them, 
a parent, you know, deserting us or a aunt must molesting right. us or right. uncle abusing us. You know what I mean? Right. So me and him was on the elevator talking about, you know, those things. Right. It's, you know, these are necessary. It's necessary evil because God is like God and, and the devil is not a thing. It's an entity. It's these an are entity. energies. Right. And they learn, you know, the devil, uh, the what they say, the idol mind is the no, devil's right. playground. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of people ain't, like you said, motherfuckers ain't got shit to do. They just sitting so around. Right. And now two things when you say that, why not think the positive? Because I have that same thing too. You know, motherfucker don't hear you call. You might have been away from your phone. You keep your shit on silent and it don't even be around for those you certain. Heard me. And motherfuckers <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Because you know why? They automatically in the head. Mm -hmm. They do shit to people mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So that they do it to people, that's the first thing that they expect. Right. That, that'd be the truth. That'd yeah. The truth. See, that's how you that get them. The truth. Oh, this is the shit you. The truth. Yeah, yeah, see, the truth. but everybody ain't made to be in God's like, honor. Mm -hmm. I seen you do God like shit, and I hope I'm allowed to even express that. You know what I mean? You my man. I watch you do God like shit. It's my friend for years, man. And decades. Fucking decades. You know what I mean? We're going into a century, well, man. How long? And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and decades. you know, and you, 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 you have the power to even omit evil on a motherfucker mm -hmm. if you want. For real. You could go destroy a whole block with the power you have, but you take that power and heal. Because mm -hmm. that's what we supposed to do. Mm -hmm. like, we. Now, when you say we, yeah. you got to know who we consist of. Because every black face ain't a black person. Can't talk about it. That's why it's not color, it's culture. Folk ain't, folk ain't, folk ain't, folk and I folk. thought about this because I, you right. spit a lot of whys, man, and you'll have niggas ducking like... <laughs> I feel that and I be having to wait it took me a couple of weeks yeah. that's right this nigga slick with the tongue man and hear why you want some shit and you be like you trying to figure out you trying to come up with an answer <laughs> <laughs> that boy good <laughs> you understand so you gotta know what, what you saying when you speak into a brother like right. you and that's what it is mm -hmm. it's no excuse for right. it it's just we have that yo when it's, when it's time for cleanup, man mm -hmm. Some motherfuckers is dirty. Listen, and Some, they taint it to the point where they can't be cleaned up, so we gotta exterminate them. Let me say this. Let me say this. People need to learn how to be in solitude. That's what helped me. Solitude. You know what I mean? Now, I've been incarcerated as well. You know what I mean? I you know, I <laughs> I've been I've been incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? Like listen that joint helped me. Being incarcerated was probably one of the best things that happened to me. It's like one of my best things that happened to me. It helped me learn who was for me. People say that all the time, but it was it was deeper than that. It allowed me to really dig deep and find out who I was. You know what I mean? And this is where I gravitated to eminent virtue. I knew people was like Kelly what are you doing in here? You know, a lot of people say I sound Caucasian or whatever. No, it's proper. It's not a Caucasian language. It's, being, it's speaking proper. I never finished school. You understand? I didn't go to college or whatever because they think you went to college. No. I just like to learn. I like to learn. I like to study. I like to have an answer. You know what I mean? So when people say why, I want to be able to, now I need to learn. I need to search that up and try to figure it out, you know, because I need to, fi I need to figure it out. Long story short, I said that solitude even though I wound up being free, I was still locked up in my mind. Like I wanted to be free so bad that when I came home, I still had problems. Like I needed a place to stay. You know what I mean? I need, I need money. I need a car. I need things. You know what I mean? I need to get around. What am I gonna do? So it, it, it was like I was cool in the joint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I had my three, you know, yeah, three you meals. My, you know what I mean? You know, every day, every day, you know, I had my little. Everything on automatic is free. <laughs> everything, real shit. Right. 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 Real shit. You get out here, off the fuck up, the water off. They, you, you know what I mean? Man. I gotta go stay with this person. I gotta go stay with this person. I gotta struggle. I gotta get back. Yeah. And see, I'm a woman, and so I understand when a man gets back and he, you know, if all he knows is that, or if all I knew, let me stick to me, all I knew was that plastic, okay? So the plastic, <laughs> you know, I'm just keeping it real. All I knew was that plastic. So I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, people know, like, people used to want to go out with me because I was getting it. You feel me? But ultimately, it didn't sustain me because I still had to spend all that money. I spent all my, money, all my own money on Bell, on, on attorneys, and, and, and you know what I mean? Trying to make sure my kids were cool until it ran out to the point I'm in the joint, right? I'm working. I had two jobs. I was going to school jobs, and I was working as a, a hairstylist, I think. And um, 
I wasn't even getting no commissary like that. Girls was coming in like, you broke this, that, you know what I mean? And I'm real humble. It take a lot for me. People people will tell you, you know, you talk about the judging part, but people will be like, Kelly, you you was getting it out to end, but you ain't got it out here. Like who? But really, it was because I never had the support okay. out in the street. Put the pressure on it, too. You know what I mean? I never had the support out in the I street. Most of the time, probably it was from something you was giving up. Damn, you ain't got it like that. You ain't give me what yeah, you Yeah, you ain't give me. You know what I'm saying? I was a support in the street. I was yeah. the one support in the street. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't like that no more, Gally. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, in my mind, like we was just talking, we talking about mentality. In my mind, like I know who I am, but I don't have to explain to nobody who I am. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. women, you know, or just characteristics, one of the things I learned in jail was understanding women's personalities. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I never even liked females like that, you know? And so I learned, okay, women is not, you know, I used to be, I'm pretty too, you know, I know. But I was like learning okay. how to give, <laughs> but I had to learn, I had to learn how to give compliments because I was the pretty one, you know what I'm saying? Or one of them. And so women used to think that I was stuck up or I was this and the third. So I tried to literally reverse psychology, my personality in the joint. Mm -hmm. Everybody loved me. Like Arab, the people was like, "What are you doing in here? Like you don't even, you don't, you don't even seem like you would be in here." You know right, what I mean? Right Long story short, I learned <sighs> that that solitude time helped me dig into myself and and to know what is my purpose, what am I here for? Because I know this is not it. I mean, even before I even got banged. Even before I got banged, I knew people was like, Kelly, you need to stop doing this. You need to stop doing that. I intentionally, like, I deliberately did not. You know how you can ask God? Like, I know I can ask God for something, and he's going to do it. Like, I refuse to do it. I refuse to ask God because I didn't want to come out of that that zone. I didn't want to stop, you know, taking plastic. I, I, I wanted so to maintain a minute, the hustle. Wait a minute. That was, you know, that's pretty deep. You said a couple things, man. You said you didn't want to ask God. No, I didn't want to ask God. Because you knew your ass was greedy, and you wanted that motherfucking money, and you knew you were going to be wrong. Yeah, I knew I was going to be wrong. What you am know, I asking God so for? God gave, God gave it to you already. You're passionate, you know what I'm saying? Your good heart, you know what I'm saying? Like the way you perceive, you know, you get involved with people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They see something in you. Yeah, you know isn't it? I say that to say people gonna have conversation to guide you. It's mm -hmm. to get it. To get it. You see what I'm saying? Listen, and that's and that's deep that he say that because yeah. listen, I have I had no par parental guidance. Right. This is real for me. I had no parental guidance, and people on the street was like trying to get me to not do what I was doing, doing right. plastic, whatever. Right. And I wouldn't receive that information. I felt like, who are you? You're not my mom, you're not my dad. You know what I mean? Right. Even though they had really great intentions for me, they wanted to help me. But in my mind, I already made it up that I wasn't gonna accept it. I want my mom and my dad to do it. If my mom and my dad is not doing it, why should I listen to you? But when I say I didn't, I deliberately didn't ask God. I'm saying I didn't, I didn't ask God to change my situation right. because I knew He would do it. And when you ask God for something, He don't do it the way you're going to do it. Oh, yeah. He, He's going to do he it. Do it He's going to do he it. Won't give it to you when you forget about it. That's right. And it, no, it, in a way, it's it done to you. Right. Right. The way it get done to it's you. It's the way he's right. going to get it. You ain't going to want it like that. You might bro. don't like it. Exactly. It be raw. It be raw. I knew that. When we talk no. about when it get dark, yeah. see, that's what solitude it consists of, going in total darkness and not knowing when the light going to mm -hmm. come back on. Mm -hmm. right. Fuck. So you have to oh, stand, man. yeah, and that shout out the puff for that one, but that was yeah, the trillest shit, man. You because yeah. you, and that's what people fear. Mm -hmm. What do you say, homie? fear that. You don't know when the fucking, you know what I mean? Nobody want to go in the yeah. darkness no and uh, not knowing when the shit is going to stop. Oh, man, can you pull that motherfucking joint up, You understand? Man? And I'm oh, saying. Oh, pull that motherfucking <laughs> joint up, While man. we pulling it up, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you got to really man. be able to sustain mm -hmm. that darkness of finding yourself, man. You, yourself is gonna tell you some shit. Yourself gonna tell you to kill yourself, all day long, maybe. All day long. Mm -hmm. And you gotta fight them gotta demons fight within it. you first. That's right. And then you come out of total solitude mm -hmm. to walk in harmony and unity exactly. with your brothers and sisters exactly. to win this war. Yes. Because we in a spiritual warfare, a financial warfare. Uh, you know, so at these times, unity in every aspect is necessary. You have to arm yourself mm -hmm. physically, mentally, financially, right. man. Yep. And that's basically what the Be Really Real podcast is stating, man. That that's unity right. 
is fucking necessary. You have to put your own differences aside. Yes, we right. all come from fucked up past, man. I'm right. pretty sure each of us in here, even if we had a silver spoon, it could have been dirty. Because mm -hmm. right. we look at the other side. We always looked at that other side of uh, City Line Ave. It was more. Like it was so mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Them motherfuckers commit suicide rich. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have your peace. Man. The struggle was appreciated, right. man. It was on the joint. I said, listen, I love my mother for deserting me, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, yeah. I, you got to embrace your struggle, struggle to be it your, your, your beauty and then your love, everything that hurt you. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true love. Mm -hmm. When you love something that can never give it back. No, mm -hmm. And you ain't even expecting that, John. You just wanted to get that you motherfucker. Just getting it up man. off you because it's not yours. If God gave you blessings, give it out. Right. 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 Give it out. Be, be in abundance of giving. Everybody in wants to be in abundance of taking. Taking, taking, taking. taking. Yeah. Ha, 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 See, that's what I'm saying, man. Ha, ha. That's what I'm saying, right? Because right. they, they, now we in this time. We got, mm -hmm. we got social network, mm -hmm. social media. But listen, listen, Confusion. Listen, Distractions. But listen, Confusion. but listen, see, this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You can do that, right? Yeah. But you, 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 you can choose to do the other thing and it'll be a whole lot of good going on. Mm -hmm. Right. Lies right. there and lies you. what I'm saying. Right. Why that got to be the one to, the, 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 be the one that you choose? Like right. she said. It's funny you said that because life is based on choice. This mm -hmm. is why everybody has to be held accountable for mm -hmm. their actions, Nations, be right. it good or evil. Mm -hmm. Once you look at, oh, that's the evil shit you like? Yeah. Mm. You oh, separate. Yeah. People will hang around evil. That's right. Oh, they gravitate do, to I'm it. I'm going to do evil like, I, like mm -hmm. this then. Instead of getting the fuck away from it because we sometimes become a slave to love. Mm -hmm. And love us, will kill us. your fucking ass. No, I'm talking about your family is who you love first by obligation and these are the people mm -hmm. that will kill you. Mm -hmm. The shit that's been indoctrinated on you. Right. You gotta love this motherfucker. I ain't got the dollar. Why the fuck I got the dollar? <laughs> this motherfucker, man. Exactly. That's what I got together and came up with this shit and right. brought me into this shit. What if I don't like this? Right. right. What if this ain't what I, what if I want all black motherfuckers or dark skin people in my family? I want a dark skin brother with curly hair. You dig what I'm saying? What right. the fuck I what, You gave me this light skin motherfucker, cute nigga. I don't like him. He don't fucking yeah. like what? I didn't choose this shit. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all got yeah. together and fucked and made these motherfucking babies and all these brothers and sisters that y'all telling me I got the love. What if they don't like me? Right. And you still tell me, man, it's your brother. He got a love him. What if the fuck he don't like me? I got to still love your mother. Right. Bitch, you got a problem with me. I ain't got no problem with you. You don't like all of look like you're in the fucking dad. Listen. Ah, that's not my fault. All mama. skin folk ain't kin folk. I got to fuck with you now. I got to still love you. You crack me upside my goddamn head. Man, I'm you go to shit I ain't even did. You put me in this world. I ain't got right, nothing. You go to right, old boys right, something. Right, got going on. Yeah. Oh man, oh man, you the fuck. But I'll let the mic real quick. Listen, listen. Uh, my background. Uh, it's not the craziest, you know. I had a, a pretty good life. I, I'll say that. Really I made great. I made uh, uh, orange juice out of oranges, pretty yeah. much, you know. So, you know, I did what I could. But uh, f for the people that have, you know, a similar lifestyle to me, I say the most important thing is to learn. Um, learning how to learn is very important. So mm -hmm. that's like learning how to adapt. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot of situations that you're in that you're uncomfortable with that you have to learn how to find a way to be comfortable so you can get through a situation. And like they said, with the family members, you know, it's gonna be situations that we are put into that is unavoidable, but it's sometimes necessary for us to act not like ourselves in order for the best outcome to be approached, mm -hmm. if you get what that means. So, so it's like, like, so I should act like, that, that that's 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 a that's a that's a that's a great question. So the thing that I act like is like I'm like Shao Kahn, not Shao Kahn. I'm like Shang Tsung. You know, I can do the transformations and all that. So it's like when it comes to that's from Mortal Kombat. It's the it's the bull who who transform himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so so you got to be able to adapt. Exactly. So it's like it's like right. Right. So 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 when you look at it, it's like different situations calls for different approaches. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm a religious guy. You know, so you know there's a lot of things that happened in the past to people 
people that was on a greater standpoint of my own self. So looking how other people dealt with situations, not even just the biblical or Quranic versions of people, but just in nature, like if he handled a situation that I say that, oh man, he handled that pretty well. I'll be like, you know what? In the future, if that situation ever came upon me, I'm gonna handle it like that. And that's the way that a situation can be avoided. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker a, wanna fight you. You you know a, lo- a motherfucker wanna fight you and you feel like ain't even no reason for me to even be in this situation at all. Right. Nigga. Yo, like like you can you can you can you can literally say like I'm out like and and go to sleep at night. You know what I mean? Like you can just say I'm gone. Like you don't gotta do nothing. You don't gotta say another word. You can just be like I'm out and leave the situation. Exactly. So so that that learning is is very important to people that that are in the right or in the, even in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? Just learning how to be better regardless of the situation right. that you're in. You're always going to be a better person at the end right. if you implement. So basically, we live long enough like these guys right here you're looking at that's telling us these things, man, that we're going to get better. Because they saying shit that's totally different from what they... They on the elevator coming up with shit. Man, yeah. man, you know, I'm, and just thinking, man, and you hearing, we live long enough, bro, we gonna get better, hopefully. We supposed to evolve and get better. Right. And that, and I think that's the message too, man. We gotta evolve and get better, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Bro, no, you gonna give us something? I just wanted to give you one thing. Like the key thing out of everything that we sharing, patience. Patience. You see what I'm saying? Like people just hear that word, grow to mentally, grow to live it. You know what I'm saying? There's a life in there. You know what I'm saying? It's patience. Out of everything we talking about. They require patience. I, I couldn't attest to that. And, 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 and to add to what Cooley said, uh-huh. it's important to learn to learn and indoctrinate other people's ways of living mm-hmm. in a good way. Don't just look at the fucked up shit mm-hmm. or the extravagant world that you see. It's ways of living out here that is maintained, that helps maintain those lifestyles like we were talking about cars. It's easy to buy a car. Everybody want the Benz. Everybody want the Infinity. But it's the maintenance. When you riding around and your shock half fucked up and you can't pay the 1800 because that one shock cost you 1800 and I ain't like, damn, I should have got the Buick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Understand maintenance to a lifestyle and adopt... You know, sometimes live through other people's shit, man. Watch, mm-hmm. I watch my brothers go through fucked up shit in their relationships or with life. I'm like, I don't want to live like that. And I ask some questions. Right. But damn, tell you, I'm a, well, you know, how do you stay in that, man? You a strong individual. You strong and man. you'll be telling me how you make it work, and I'm like, hold the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to write his formula down. I'm going to make my own formula up, and I'm going to come up with some shit that adds up to me not having to deal with the stress of a, a person that's next to me have dealt with. You know what I mean? So look at that too. Most people look at these right. lifestyles. They watch some TV and they want it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, sacrifice. It's scripted. Yeah. yeah. It's scripted. Everything. And sacrifices come with it. These people don't see their families at night mm-hmm. to make these millions. Mm-hmm. Man, you know something though? That comes with a lot of shit anyway. Though. I ain't going to cut you off, but sacrifice will come with that with anything. And if the people got to understand. understand. We gotta understand. First of all, you got to understand what we've been dealt with. You know, like the cars we've been dealt with. Like these drinks, we gotta play these ones out. We ain't gonna have no time really to do nothing for nobody. You know what I'm saying? And that's like, oh my gosh, man, that's kind of like the killer. And you know, the understanding part is where we'll be able to get better at. Because you won't understand that I gotta be here all the mm-hmm. time to make this amount of money all the time to be able to have to be with you all the time too. Because I can't right. afford to. Right now, this ain't enough for us to be sitting here. This time gonna run out quick. Right. This little couple thousand dollars you talking about, baby. We got to yeah, this to the hundreds, and then that depends on what time we in. And if that's gonna work, it might be the ends, you know, to get this lifestyle. But they, a lot of us don't understand that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's gonna take that from the cards that we're dealt to get that. Mm-hmm. Now, other people's cards been dealt where they've been had bar misfits or whatever then happened for them, and you know, their parents took money away for them or. Whatever the case may be, where they practice these traditions to set their kids up and then they, they live a different life. So they start from a different place. We're starting from negative zero with no information. Negative zero, nothing. for sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not even, they're not even leaving us nothing to live with. We in Section 8 housing and stuff like that. That ain't ours. 
You know what I'm saying? Like Hope was saying, man. Dial the neighborhood that your mama's bring. But they take your drug money and buy the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because now you own something, you know? But you die over nothing, bro. And that right. You, can't, you know what I mean? Right. And you can't, we can't live like that. But right. we got to get something. And then we got to teach this to each other all the time. Mm -hmm. Or we never going to have nothing. Right. We're not even going to feel good. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to sit there old and think, just give up? No, man. I mean, we can give ourselves and make up for this right, right. now. And that's what we're doing. We tell, man, we give them all the way in, man. Right. We ain't playing with this drug, man. Right. I'm sitting here, I'm buying a spade, I'm doing this shit because, for real, for real, I want all of us to just go buy it. That's the champagne we drink. Let's just all buy this shit, man. Right. And watch what it do. You know what I'm saying? Watch what we do for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's start practicing loving each other like mm -hmm. this instead of hating on each mm -hmm. other like that. You know what I mean? It's a choice that you can make. You can choose to like this person or do this good deed, or you can choose to do a bad deed. Right. You don't have right. to do that. You don't have to. You know right. what I'm saying? So this reality stuff that you think people live in faster, it is putting a camera on, flashing this shit, man, and it is for seconds, 30 minutes or whatever it is, and you think that's a lifetime. Mm -hmm. They are playing a game with you mentally to make you believe that, to make you feel lower than because mm -hmm. it's like everybody's doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. Why am I not doing this? Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. ever do this. Mm -hmm. So it's making you think that you got to go rob, steal, kill because you Impulsive. can't think of these other right. ways to get it because it looks like everybody's doing it so easy. They're not. That's, a, that's false. Mm -hmm. The truth is that, no, this motherfucking tight out. You got to put in that word. You know what I'm saying? You got to work your ass up. You ain't going to be home. You know what I'm saying? And somebody ain't gonna like that right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if the people stick around and stick to it, they'll see. Oh man, that sacrifice was about this, because this right. is the card you can dump. You had to do that. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. So people, this was a good show, man. And um we had eminent virtue here. This month. Eminent virtue, a leader so, of morale, <laughs> integrity. So listen, right? This girl, I see her hustle. I see her loud. I mean, I bought, I don't know how many shirts I brought. Do you know? I don't know either. <clears throat> but it was more than one or two. You know what I'm saying? But more than five. Probably more than five. I don't know. But I like to support everybody that's doing something like that because too many times we choose not to. So that's what I want to do. I want us to start trending doing that. You know what I'm saying? All the time. You'll be surprised. How much you will make an impact, man. I mean, you'll be a part of that. You can say, I was at the beginning of this, and I seen this, and I participated in that, and mm -hmm. I helped do this, man. I was you there. You can do that, you know what I'm saying? Like this dude, you know, the, the Don Harvey, man, I am Harvey. Yo, this dude, I like supporting him now. You know what I'm saying? Right now, why it's like that. You right. know, I like everybody else that's supporting him right now. Because that's the thing we got to do. And it won't take so long for people. Mm -hmm. We'll actually start dealing a different kind of hand for each other. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. We got the hand. That's what everybody trying to tell you. We got the hand. We make the hand. Everything that is popular it's is in popular. your hands. That, that you actually created it. Everything. I promise you. Niggas, you did it. Everything it was, I promise you, niggas, you did it, man. And that's what's making this thing thrive. Right. So look, if we collectively do this like this together, man, we right. for sure can do Let's practice that. Collectively illuminate. Let's come together. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, and illuminate. And, and we illuminate. are the light. We're going to be a leader and a light to whatever it is you're pursuing. And we'll hold it. This bulb won't go out. Can't Even go now. out. Yeah, look at us, man. Right. Look right. at us for real, bro. Look what we doing. We got people in the building. They fuck with. We support each other. It's starting to work, man. Let's keep going at that Philly and everywhere. Let's love each other. Stop the bullshit, man. Pride and ego. And if anybody's Muslim out there, you do know a mustard seed, a mustard seed of pride will not get you into jail. For all us man, trying to be Muslim out there, man, because we all try to be. Only Allah makes Muslims. But I'm telling you, man, I must have seen the pride. We can't get an agenda. Think about gender. That's effort. Mm -hmm. We might get 120 years here if we're we lucky. I ain't seen too many people do it. But gender is effort. And if we got a must have seen the pride of, must, you know, that's the smallest seed, y'all. Right. We got the smallest he it is. You ain't getting in yet. You know, so let's start practicing that stuff, getting rid of it. 
You know what I mean? Yoda, if y'all Star Wars fans out there, <laughs> he told Anakin before he turned to Darth Vader, he said, listen, man, train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. Mm -hmm. That's key. It won't matter to you. Let's stop judging everybody. Mm -hmm. It won't even matter right. to you, man. If you wasn't worried about somebody calling you stupid, dumb, ugly, or whatever. Right. It wouldn't even matter to nobody, man. Let's start doing good. All right, y'all? Yes. It's a beautiful show. We got nothing with virtue. Light. Do it again. Tell us. Eminent. Follow me on Instagram at Eminent. E M I N E N T V V element. Because there's so many elements to it. You know, we could talk about that. So I can really have my own she, show. She, she really <laughs> you know what I mean? One, like, really, you know what I'm saying? You really, like, have to get one because you deeper than me. I ain't know some of this shit that she was talking about words and whatever, whatever. You know, I don't I know. I just feel. I just try to feel what's right and do what's right all the time. So you do need your own show. You know what I'm it's just all about the character. Mm -hmm. yeah. The moral of the story is if you have love and if you are loved, then you have no choice but to give it. You know what I mean? The things that you are is what you're going to give, and that's what you're going to wind up expecting. You're going to wind up getting it. They say you reap what you sell, right? Mm -hmm. People always look at it as a negative. But if you sow love, sow truth, sow peace, you know, sow everything good, then you're going to get it back. You're, you're going to reap problem. those things back. This is what we did here. We ain't drink no spade, y'all. Y'all want to drink some champagne? Yeah, I definitely. I'm thirsty. I was drinking Y'all with the champagne, bro? Y'all fuck up with it. Oh, yo, champagne you know, with it. I'm fine. Do we got one? Oh, oh, man, fuck on, nigga. We drink a spade, bitch. My man Fred G said, what's going on, bro? He said, what's that? He said, what's that? He said champagne <laughs> and ripple. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm breaking up. Legend, man. Fred G. Yeah. said bro, some shit, yeah. man. You know what I'm telling you, man? Oh, uh, yeah, it's all. It's Ain't all. good, it's man. It's going down. And it's cold, too. You know you can't drink no champagne. But, too, can I say this shit. at the end, man? Boy, each tell one, you each, you listen, say, man. <laughs> each one, teach one. Right. So... Don't look at the whole board like you're going to clear the whole board. If you protecting and respecting and showing love to the person next to you, that's helping the world. That's right. That's how we do that there. So don't look for everybody to be how you are. I learned that in right. this world, man, and people have told me that. And you will learn lessons the hard way right. sometimes, man. And don't hate the world for them lessons. Mm -hmm. And some, that's what be happening. Sometimes we can't bounce back from setbacks. Right. And they always said the get back, the get back was better than the setback, right. man. So, you know. But yeah, that's what this is my what man. This is my man, raw shit. Like, you know what I mean? And we went through struggles of a jungle, man. Right. Well, we ain't believe that we was going to be man, homemade, sitting homemade, right homemade, here, homemade, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. yeah, I'm going to miss this you. nigga for damn near 15, 20 years. We've been running parallel and lives. I'm just reaching this nigga again, man. You know what I mean? This shit happening in the real time, and people don't even be knowing the schematics mm. behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. The motherfuckers just be right. seeing that's people exactly. with people because right. like, they think that's the thing to right. do. Like, right. oh, he hanging with him now? No, it's purposeful. Oh my God, no, yo, this shit, man, be it's really purposeful. real. Like, right. yo, this shit is uh, <laughs> destiny, you know what I yes. mean? And when you walking in your greatest light, when you walking in righteousness, I swear to God, life mm -hmm. is bliss. Mm -hmm. Just in that, that's like right. that, right there. Be really real. That <laughs> right. shit pop right on time. <laughs> <laughs> you got, no, like when you in your righteous state, right. you're going to get blessings from God right. unimaginable. Right. Stop trying to take. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to give your talents for free right. in exactly. order for people to recognize Ordering. you. That's Stop right. charging a dollar for your talents. You are like a Thank cheap you. whore. Right. <laughs> Serve modestly. You understand? And we know you know nothing for free, but sometimes performance gets you everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, Put your best foot forward first, and then you'll see what the next person has exactly. to give. Yeah. Don't be coming like, what's your foot looking like? What's right. your foot looking right. like? Right, motherfucker. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Try to do that. Right. You know what I mean? Don't, Don't try to look at what can change your world. Like, what can you what do can for you me? Do like, what change? can I do for them? Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. That's key. Right. That's key. You know That's what I mean? All facts. 
It's, it's all facts. Yeah. You got to look at that's it, That's another team. thing, but that's mm-hmm. true. That's, I'm glad you said that because people deal with that in a lot of relationships, especially women. They go to the man. What can you do for me? You know what I mean? Like, no, what's, what can you do? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, seriously, and I'm, I know I'm a woman, but I'm just saying in general because people deal with that, trying to see or connect with somebody to see what they can get out of them. Because right. it's but law, right? But the whole right? truth right. is is that you have to be an asset. You have to be a, a, a provider in something. You know what I mean? You have to connect a dot in something. Like, you know what I mean? Teamwork make the dream work. We don't need all kinds of uh, photographers. You know what I mean? Everybody can't be the same job task. You know what I'm saying? We got to do, and we got to operate in our own gifts and illuminate. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we become collective. Sometimes people have to be patient and work with what they have. And stop thinking that you're going to get a gym star when you need to get it together right there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants shit exactly. microwaveable. They're looking for make microwave results. Yeah, like... That's what they call it. A chick could be with a boy and then she could see another dude that got some chips with dip. And leave him. Mm-hmm. He's a good dude to her. To her being the second and the third. Busy body. To this dude. You know what I'm saying? And mess that whole situation up for nothing. Mm-hmm. You know? Absolutely. Because people be in a busybody and they're never content in their mind. They just want to keep going, trying to figure out, you know what, it's not enough. It's never enough. It's never enough. They just got to have more, got to have more. Or they're not willing to work for themselves. Because a lot of people want somebody else to do it for them. <laughs> you know? I want to say that what you said about them women, too. Go ahead. <laughs> Listen, man, I love my ladies. <laughs> it's a factoid that this is by law of nature that a woman is supposed to multiply anything a man has. Mm -hmm. And that seed to a baby, a house to a home, so on and so Mm -hmm. forth. So when you looking for these men of status and stature and you finally do run into them, Mm -hmm. find out how you can multiply what he has instead of subtracting. Mm -hmm. Because... Toast to the Be Really Real podcast. You want some coolie? And we drinking this shit out of the styrofoam cup, nigga. That shit gonna be heavy on one. Talk about this, nigga. Because that's what I'm back out of town. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta celebrate yourself. You know, a lot of people need to love on themselves first and foremost. They need to learn how to love themselves. But yeah. celebrate you know what I mean? each other too. And celebrate each other too. But I want to celebrate eminent virtue. Wait, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait, Shout what out to that. No, but that you say that right because you have to be selfish and selfless. Right. So when you love on yourself, when I love on you, mm-hmm. I'm loving on me. Right. Exactly. You are a, 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 a reflection of me. So when y'all calling these women whores and bitches and shit like that, you know that's nigga, you basically calling yourself a whore and a bitch because you all what you lay down with. And we love whores where I'm from. You understand you? <laughs> we just hate a liar. <laughs> you understand? But I'm just saying we got to love on each other. That's what I, how he says support, and that's what we, because mm-hmm. self-love is that. Well, let me say that what, I, what I'm saying is because some people it. spend so much time loving, right, and they miss to love themselves, and they, they actually deplete themselves. You know what I mean? They, they take from themselves trying to love on other people. Right. I know people that love on other people more. They'll do more for other people than they'll do for themselves. They be homeless <laughs> trying good. to pretend, you know what I mean, trying to occupy a party yeah, so. and trying to, you know, trying to do this and trying to do this for this person right. when you're depleted. You don't really have the reason. You're not in the position. You cleared that up when you said solitude. Yeah, solitude. Once you go into solitude, you'll find out if mm-hmm. you ain't shit. Right. Mm-hmm. Hold up. And a lot of people are scared of that. Off the subject. Pussy. You what? Oh, yo. Toast to the Be Really Real podcast. And I got the joint right now. Because me and my man had to cook off. And Toast to this strong ass nine on this nut ass salmon shit that he hooked up. And then I had a strong eight. My shit was an eight because it was. <laughs> Exactly, you know what I mean? And it's back on. Don't. <laughs> Wait, what about, this, what about this salmon? What about the salmon? That shit was slamming. It was a strong nine. He was missing a couple of ingredients. <laughs> but we ain't going to get into that. <laughs> I ain't getting I could have been the judge. Probably was the judge. <laughs> you take the fuck out of here, man. 
Yeah, that's what we want to do. Spread this shit, nigga. Play that shit, nigga. Man, man, this motherfucker, yeah. man. Big fucking stage bottles and yeah. planes hats, nigga. Red you know what we doing for 2021. Yeah. We're going to raise the bar. That's what the fuck is going on. Right, that's what we're doing. We being cool right now, like my man Cootie. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, like we're about to heat this shit up. Raise the revenue. We're about to just raise the bar. We're going to put the revenue back in order. Right. And that's where the fucking be really real, man. Hello. I'm touching so y'all two sips, nigga. I'm touching shit. Y'all sitting there and drinking on that bullshit. <laughs> Take your whole bottle of hat and get <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. We have the styrofoam cup, nigga, and I'm yeah. two sips deep, and I'm nice. That's, yo, and, and listen, in this shit, all that, I keep telling Shout you. Shout out to 40 in the back. Oh, we'll worry man, about I'm that shit you. later. Yeah, don't oh, hit 40. Get all that this shit later. Yo, it's <laughs> wrong, nigga. Right there, bro. Yeah. Just in 20 you know years, come on, come on, yeah. the fans, nigga, yeah. stand up. Stand all the way the fuck up, yeah. nigga. Matter of fact, we'll flash that nigga. Put the <laughs> whole flash camera on that nigga. <laughs> Anybody up there in the fans, you know what I'm saying? They know this nigga right there. No, put the camera on He home. Exactly. He home now. Anybody up there in the fans, right? Y'all know 40. You understand what I'm saying? This is stand up nigga. I mean, the tallest motherfucker you've seen, and you're only four foot three. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? This is the biggest motherfucker you ever seen. My old G40. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? Shout out to you, bro. So listen. Shout out to 40. Shout out to you, Toaster. That ain't drinking spades, nigga. You know what it is. Come home, taste the spades. That's big boy shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it to where we get the play for it. Spit it back, cool. I'm trying to get it like old did on there. Get, get the nigga straight up in the mile high club. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get him right up in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's some G shit right there. That's mm-hmm. it. Man, that's the kind of shit that I be, you know what I'm saying? I'm on that. You feel what I'm saying? I like that kind of shit. So I'm, I'm trying to reach this level so you can do that kind of thing for people that deserve it. You know right. what I'm saying? And all of right. us deserve it. Right. All of us each other. Confused. Confused. This ain't got nothing to do with stunting on your people or stunting with your people. Mm-hmm. That is the fucking difference here. And I'm telling He's you, just telling everybody, come on out, let's celebrate like this. That's right, man. And see, I ain't shitting on you to kill you. I'm shitting on you to heal. Cause you healing. Shit to you know what I'm saying? Fertilizer. It helps if you good seed, it's going to grow. You understand what I'm saying? So That's my I line. I ain't going on that for that, man. I'm trying to heal you, man. That's, That's right. What we can do. That's you right. You see us, man, same clothes every day, nigga. We drink a spades, bro. We can just stay there even when you come up. That's happening. You dig me? That's how we gonna beat them, bro. That's how we gonna all win. Ain't that something? Time to fall when it's time to fall. Right, time to fall. Big fucking cool. The whole man, it ain't that deep. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to time to fall when it's time to fall. Time to fall. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we beat them right now. It's time to fall. You know what I mean? Look. We beat them. Look, you know but he said he's though, we're a little fast. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Like, he's from the future. He from the future. You know, what I'm saying? you know how it is, man. You right know, behind you. You be on it before everybody. But this is Be Really Real Podcast, man. Be I'm, really I'm real. Right up here, man. Be Really Real Podcast, man. The spade is drunk fast. Yeah, because he's lit. Like <laughs> and the spade. I ain't going to lie. This shit got me seeing doubles already. I'm that shit is lit. Nice. 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 Fuck y'all talking about this shit. This was, a, this was a quarter it pocket, do. too. Yeah, it was a quarter pocket. Let me see this boy. Come on, put a boy in there, my brother. Yeah. He's like, look, he's like, look, he's blanking. He got the quarter pocket. That's a yeah. quarter, too. Hey, yo, let me tell you something, man. Y'all tripping on this joint. The spade is fucking off. You trying to get drunk and party, nigga. Look at this. And it's good. What the fuck we doing? Let's just do this one time. Mm-hmm. And everybody that participated, you can show this at the end of the year, homie. You understand what I'm saying? So we gonna sign off, man. It's to be really real. It's to be really real. real. My boy Hot G Bucks, OG40. You know what I'm saying? I am Harvey in the fucking building. That nigga gonna make a billion dollars. Exactly. Right. Right. That cool is shooting us, man. We out of here. Peace and love. We out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, look, man. P.S., man. When the fuck is we going to get that script, Cooley? That's what's really real. 70 niggas. He definitely got it. On his ass. Oh, man. On his ass, homie. That's what it is, y'all. It's going to be with Peace, man. Love it, Peace and love. Peace and love.